Crystal Palace. I've just been joined by Hannah England, who was just fourth in the women's 1500 metres today. Hannah, just your thoughts on how it went today, please? Um, I really pleased with how I felt. Probably because we went out in 217 instead of 210. Sure. <laughs> I was really lucky because I was lucky. I looked at the clock and I was like, that's why. Okay. Um, and everyone got a bit like, un uh, what's the right word? A bit edgy. Right. We, we never looked at the clock and realised quite how slow it was. Everyone sure. was like, itching to go. Because that's gonna was that a surprise? Because I saw on one of the flow track interviews that the British girls had requested it to be quick from the off sort of thing. Yeah. It was a true run race sort well, of thing. That, but that's what I got told a few days ago. I was like, brilliant. I was like, whoever's fitted, that's yeah, that's what we're finishing. That's sure. Fantastic. And uh, not that it's not fair. Yeah. And I'm pacing anybody. But that was what you would have preferred and sort it was of funny thing. Because you could tell everyone had that mindset. They were just like, trying to pace it. Okay. One of the girls actually said 200 inches, said just slow. <laughs> and then she called forward and said just slow. And the girl picked it up a bit, but then she wanted to slow down again. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah. So as the race pan on, obviously, like I say, it did slow, but then a pressive last lap, there's still a lot of you con in contention. Are you pleased, obviously, like I say, world class field, and you finished fourth today, so you are mixing it with the world's best? Oh, I felt really, really good the last, last 400. Like, usually I try and hold back and just kick in like, the last 120. I know, like, Lisa's really good on that day. I felt so good at 300, I was like, just to keep going. I had a look out, I saw Lisa was like, on my shoulder, and I thought, I'd still keep going, I feel good. And, um, and I did feel good, I felt good. Okay. Just like I said, I just cut my stride and hang straight. And I thought I was just going to try and go sideways and forward, but I just ran out of time. Okay. okay. So if we can touch upon the wheels, then obviously it's been well documented in the press. This was essentially some degree of a race off for this. We've yeah. all perhaps decided that perhaps Steph and Charlene, well, Charlene's obviously definite. Steph was perhaps the most likely because she's ran the quickies. And then yourself and Lisa, and I think you beat Steph today, but Lisa had you as well. So it makes one hell of a decision for those selectors, doesn't it? So what's your thoughts? Sorry, just in, as you go on to today, was it, I'm in this race to win the race, I've got to beat Lisa, I've got to beat Steph, or what was your mentality just My in prep? My mentality was to try and finish the time second, like, regardless of who the bodies were. And, uh, it's only my fourth in the top of the 200. Yeah. Basically, you can do, like, the heat for the child. Sure. So, uh, and I know I've got so much more in me, and that's why I was excited about having a fast race today. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I've run fast, but I haven't, so I can't know. Uh, no point what you're doing, like, what you're doing training doesn't count for anything. Okay. And how do you feel, obviously, based on last year as well, when it's a similar situation and sort of, don't want to sound negative about it, but it's sort of the blessings that we want. We want in events to be competitive, so you can't rest on your laurels and you have to push yourself. But from a personal perspective, when you're perhaps not the hygiene saying the one who's missing out, how does it feel, obviously, like you say, when you look at your event, it's so blessed of talent, and it's obviously make, you have to be on your day every time if you want to get to the, just to represent your country, sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know, it's that double keeps going. Well, it's so exciting having a test of the event, and I'm like, it is. Yeah, it's exciting yeah. if you're one of that three that's going, isn't it, sort yeah, of thing? After last summer, I just got my head down and I thought it's going to work as hard as I can. And it's getting to come out and be like, okay, that's still not hard enough. So, whatever happens, I'm going to have to go back and work hard because even if I go, I'm not content being the, being the, third, the third best or second, but I want to be the best. No, that's what he's. And I say, I suppose, and based off today as well, even if you don't go, I'm not like trying to zip, but fourth in this sort of field, it proves that Hannah England does have a place in this world stage. So, does that excite you? And like I say, even if it is the case, it'll fuel you with more motivation going into this winter as well. It does. I mean, whatever happens on Monday at make selection, I know I'm going to run fast this summer, and I just hope that that's in Berlin, not in some race up in Europe somewhere. Okay. And I'm just going to get the most out of myself in the next month. Right. And uh, yeah, then just back to the winter and training harder. Okay, and then I just heard, so are you racing on Tuesday, is it, as well? Um, so? I think I will, yeah. I so that's going to be Monaco 1500? Yeah, Matt says it's, um, that's more likely to be a fast race. Okay. So uh, I've got a lot of fast running. And then do you think there's obviously four, five, so improvement the seat? Do you think there's more room to, what do you think you can get down to this summer? Um, I'm not sure, but if I can run 159 or 1500 meter training, then sure. my 15 should have had a lot faster than 45. Okay, well, well done today, Hannah. Thanks for talking to us. All the best with the selection. Obviously, I'm glad I'm not making this decision, but we hope it works in your favour. But no, I suppose as long as it's the right decision and you're biased, Lisa's biased, Steph's biased, but hopefully at the end of the day, we're going to have three world class Brits there, aren't we, at the end yeah. of the day? So thanks for talking to us.